Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 2 of the Pokemon X series. Today we're here at Armory Digital Super Speedway for the running of the Pokemon Go 300. On the poll tonight, we have the 52 of Philip Goldberg and Ryan Rickshaw on the double zeros on the outside. Nikki Maxwell, Giovanni Castillo in row 2, Butcher, Ryan Butcher, and James DeBillito in row 3, and Dexter Black and Connor Breen round out your field of playoff drivers in this race. It is the penultimate race of the Xfinity of the um, NES and the Pokemon X series. Almost an Xfinity series right there, but you get what I mean. It's the uh, PXS's um, penultimate race, and after this, we'll reveal the final four drivers that will be racing for the title at Zenjoltis. Very important race this is. 16 laps around this unique 2.6 mile oval, uh, super speedway. Oval, I should say, but you get you get the point too. <laughs> Here we go. Going to be coming to the green, Nick. Coming to the green when they cross the line. Going to be really huge. We'll see how things go with these guys today. It's going to be big. It's going to be very huge. And four drivers will compete for the title after this race. Very important race here. For all the playoff drivers in this, for every playoff driver in this field, we had the final four revealed from the trucks, and now the X series will take its turn. And after this, we'll go to Coca-Cola to decide which four will compete for the title there for the Cup series. Green flags in the air, and the Pokemon go 300. Stabilito for the lead as he's going to be battling with Philip Goldberg. This is another super speedway, but it's very unique because the high line could actually work sometimes. So if you're lucky enough to get a good draft, that high line could work to your advantage. It is the super speedway, so going 4 5 wide might not be a good idea. We could see a wreck in this race. Four laps longer than the other race, so. Definitely might be have the possibility of a crash here. One mistake could cause a big crash. You just it only takes like one little slip up to cause the big one here at Armory Digital. These turns are really, really banked up high, so a lot of elevation changes for uh, somehow because this track is based in the western coast. Probably above sea level in the um, northwestern run. So, it's going to be some elevation changes there. These guys better be careful how they run tr the, at this track. Sure, going to be fun. Sure, going to be interesting to see which lines they take. Still four wide. Steve Larker and the five are real close. And Dexter Black goes for the lead. McPherson trying to win again as he's been dominating this round. Here we go. As the two car of John Hunt is in the hunt. Still three, still four wide, still very close. Oh man. They're still getting really, really, really tight. And here comes Julius Anderson. Four wide battle. MDev goes in the 42. They're getting split. Oh man, now they're getting really, really tight as the race progresses. Oh man, this is going to be insane. Now they're five wide, almost six wide. I'm sure that might cause a crash. So Breton and Rickshaw both battle, both trying to stay alive in the final four chase. Now they're crashing. 
And there they go. Castillo's involved. MDEV spins. Handful of cars wrecked. Castillo's the big one. Involved with damage. Butcher might have had some damage too. We finally have a caution. A big crash happened. And it was only a matter of time before those guys started to crash. Five, six wide. It was just too much for this track to handle. Here we go to the stripe. Who's going to be leading this race? And it might be Jeff Bright. It looks like. Oh no, Jeff Scott. It's Jeff Scott. So I guess going six wide was just too much for this track. Yikes. Let's look at the first wreck with Glenn Duthit. There's Julius Anderson, Ryan Butcher, Glenn Duthit. And they just couldn't handle it anymore. Butcher got into Castillo, hitting the 42 as well. Then they started to crash. A big one happened. All those cars were just sliding everywhere. Castillo is hit. Hurley gets hit. And there's the 42 spinning. I don't see I don't think Butcher was involved in the mess. I think he got away cleanly. But it's going to hurt Castillo's chances of possibly making in the final four with that finish. Wow. Question is, do you come to Pit Road at this time? It doesn't look like they're going to go in right now. Just a few laps left here at Armory Digital. We're back to green. Castillo's out in 29th. So this will definitely be a big impact on if he's going to make the final four or not. Philip Goldberg takes the lead on lap 10. Seven to go at Armory Digital. As Goldberg's trying to win again in the final four. It's not been easy for the playoff drivers in this round to get their spots in the final four. Here comes Cody Lupton and here comes Code Luigi. And here comes Avi Sachs all going four wide again. And now they picked up where they left off. Lupton, Luigi, they battle for the lead. Luigi second now. Three wide battle. Right now for the third position. And Maxwell's low on the low line. She's trying to get as many points as possible to possibly make her way into the final four. Castillo and Maxwell both made the final both made the final four in the X series. There's a possibility with Castillo crashing though, it may not be likely that Castillo could be in the final four. But Maxwell will surely will. If she uh, is able to stay in the top five. Ooh, problem. Jeff Scott, I saw him hit the wall. But no damage. I mean, well, there is some damage on the side, but they're able to continue. And Rick Sh and Ryan Rickshaw stuck in the middle. That's going to hurt him a lot. As you see, all the positions he's losing, all the points he's losing. And that could be huge for his chances to um, lock himself into the final four. Four laps to go, and there's still possibly overtime if there is a need for it. This could come down overtime if there's a need for it. Oh, four wide for the lead. Larker up high, stuck on that high lane. Trying the best he can to avoid the wall. But there's some crazy bumps and crazy on uh, the road is like uneven. It's like bumpy and like slippery sometimes, so trying to avoid the wall without hitting it is a tough task at this track. We saw the five of Jeff Scott hit the wall earlier and lose a lot of ground. He held up Rickshaw and it's going to cost Rickshaw huge points. 
Three laps to go and the Steve Larker 51 is leading. Larker obviously, well Larker was a playoff driver but was eliminated in the early round. But he's trying to win and redeem himself and possibly wrap, get, and possibly go out on top in season two. There you see um, MDev and Butcher way off the pace. Butcher is way off the pace right now, 27th. Oh man, this is going to be a topsy-turvy battle when we look at the points after this race. I think everybody took their pit stops under caution and I didn't even see them, but they might be good to go to the end. Two laps to go for the leader. And Jay Jefferson was leading, and here comes Maxwell. Maxwell or Goldberg, one of these guys, one of the drivers, could be a championship four contender with the win at Armory Digital. We got a caution before the white, though. It's going to come down to a two-lap overtime dash. Cars on pit road. The one's in the back. But we're coming to the white flag. Next time by, there'll be one lap to go. 20 is going to come down pit road, and he's the only one that comes down before the white. So I'm sure everybody's going to try to make it to the very end. There's the white flag, though. Last lap. I saw drivers in the wall. No caution. We will continue to run to the end. Luigi's the leader. And look at the comeback by the five. In the top five now. He might get the win. Here he comes. Luigi, Kennedy, and Jeff Scott. Here we go, Jeff Scott trying to make a comeback in the final corner. It's five or three for the win. Who's it gonna be? It looks like it might be Jeff Scott, but we'll see to the line. They're racing back, and the winner is Cole Luigi. He did it. He held on on the middle line to win. Wow. Somehow held the middle line faster and won the race and cold luigi has done it again he wins at armory digital what a finish cold luigi wins the three cards back in victory lane beating out jeff scott to the line for the win i believe philip goldberg was the highest playoff driver finisher in the race but connor breen nicky maxwell were not far behind neither was james stabilito the question is, will they have enough points to make the final four on their own? We'll have to wait and see. So that's it from Armory Digital. And now we're about to reveal which final four drivers will be competing for the title. Excuse me. So here we go. The uh, anticipation is going to be, is coming. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go, folks. It's going to be time to reveal the final four drivers. I'm going to set everything up. Could you give me a little one second? And here we go. Setup is complete now. So now here's the X series points. And you see the bottom there. Those are the truck series points that we updated before. And uh, th those are the final four um, that are in the race. So here we go. This is going to be the moment. So let's check out all the points they've earned here in this round. Castillo, lowest among the playoff drivers, 39. Ryan Butcher was second lowest, shockingly, at 44. And Ryan Rickshaw had a lot of points, 78. And then we see Connor Breton with 80. And Dexter Black also ended up with 80. So now the next top 12 is going to be Stabilito is an 85, Philip Goldberg 92, and Nicky Maxwell had the most points among the uh, playoff drivers in those three races with 105. Wow, 
Once again, the lowest driver in points heading into the round got the highest number of points in that round alone. Once again, like the last time. So adding up the points like this will be a lot of fun. Ooh boy, it's going to be fun to do. Anyway, here we are. Dexter Black, let's add up his points. And 3,120 plus 80, 3,200. So that's his points. And here's Connor Breton, 3,118 plus 80, 3,198. Ryan Butcher was 3,117. Add that up with 44. That's 3,161. And Ryan Rickshaw, this is where we get to the good part. 3,109 plus 78. 3,187. Now we get to the fun part. We start eliminating drivers. Oh boy, here we go. 3109 for Goldberg plus 92. He needs 3,187 points or more to stay alive. And he did. 3,201 points. And guess what? He's actually the high. He has the most points among all the drivers so far in the hunt. And that means Ryan Rickshaw is eliminated. It will not be a Final Four driver. James DeBilto, 3,004 points plus 85 is 3,189 points. I know that on the top of my head. And guess what? That is... Oh, wait a minute. Rickshaw has not been eliminated. I did the math wrong. Oops. Rickshaw's still in it. However, Ryan Butcher is the one eliminated. So he won't be a championship four driver. DeBilto is 3,189. And guess what? Rickshaw is still eliminated from the final four uh, competition. How about that? So Rickshaw and Ryan, Ryan Rickshaw and Ryan Butcher are both eliminated. They will not compete for the title. 3,098 plus 39 for Castillo is 3,137 and that's not even close to being enough for him to be a Final Four competitor. Sadly, he won't be competing in both Final Fours for the X and Truck Series. But Castillo will have the Final Four chance in the Truck Series. So not going to be X-Series this year, unfortunately. And now it comes down to Maxwell. So it's either, so Goldberg, Black, and Breton, we know, are in the Championship 4. So it's either going to be James Stabilito or Nicky Maxwell in that run. 3,091 plus... 105. She needs 3,189 points or more to stay in the game. And she's got 3,196. And guess what? She's in the final four on the last spot, knocking James Stabilito out of the ch title chase. And we have our final four set for the X series. So. Your final four are Philip Goldberg, Dexter Black, Connor Breton, and Nikki Maxwell. And the trucks, if you didn't watch our last video, they are Giovanni Castillo, Joe, Joey Trickle, Nikki Maxwell, and Andrew Johnson. So those four, how about this? Maxwell will be both championship four competitor, will be a championship four competitor in both series. Incredible run for her. Wow. So, four and four, we reveal those two series as final fours, and now we're going to be down to the Cup Series, so you don't want to miss the next race because the Cup Series will be revealed. See you guys next time.